narrowed down to just that one sample. Way more useful because I can do a lot more with it. Let's keep it real. I'm independent. I don't need no deal. I'm jaws on the beat. I've got flow that kills. Do my thing with a few G's. Lauren Hill. Hello, guys. It's Unders. And today, a nice requested video updated on how we can chop up breaks in Logic. And thanks to the new updates in 10.5, there's lots of new ways we can do it. Especially now we've got something very similar to like the Slice X of FL Studio built right into Logic with a nice easy drag and drop. What I've got here, just starting with a classic break, I've got a little bit of the Think Break loaded up. And that's thanks to my friend Pete, aka Synth God. Um, uh, he put this whole breaks library together a long, long time ago. So how do we do this in Logic? Well, easy mode. What we'll do is find the break we're after. So we've got a bit of Lynn Collins think here. We're going to drag it over to Logic, bring it all the way over to the far left. We get this new little drop down menu here. It says quick sampler, optimized, and all of that fun jazz. Well, either way, we want the quick sampler, right? If we drop it on optimized, it opens up this ridiculously over sliced thing for us. It's made an attempt at slicing up the track for us, basically. And it's sliced it up into tiny little segments. And it's done a pretty good job for the most part. But what we can do, we can find a segment uh, and just below it, the keyboard it's assigned to, or the MIDI trigger it's assigned to, gives us a play button. And what we would do is just go through here and just tidy these up a little bit. Now, if we just hold option, scroll on the mouse, we can zoom in and we can see that like some start points maybe aren't quite bang on. And we'd maybe just bring that to exactly where we want it to be. On the snap up here, we could actually do snap to zero crossing. At this point, it's always going to snap it to the best zero crossing it can find. So there should be no pops and clicks. You might find you bring something right up tight where you want it and it moves slightly. It might not, it depends what you're after. So we would go through and we would very simply make sure we've got everything lined up and we've got all the sounds we're after. In this case, it's done a pretty solid job. So from here, if the drums are as we want or the samples are as we want, we can very simply just create a nice little loop. And we'll just do a simple little one bar here. Just press U to put a loop around it. Zoom in slightly. I'm just going to double tap. I'm going to draw these into the piano roll. Um, I haven't even switched my MIDI keyboard on. And you can see all the slices here are named for us. And you can see which keys are assigned to what. And obviously we're starting on slice one. We know that's going to be a kick, right? So we're starting off really simply there. Let's put some hats in between. All right, so very simply and easily, we've been able to put a break together there very quickly. And obviously you can do all your normal piano roll tricks. So adjusting the velocities and all that fun stuff and make sure you've got a nice swing to it. Do the one over eight swing. There we go. Cool. It's even got a little bit of feel to it now. Okay, so a lot of the sounds would need to tweak, right? So a couple of things we can do to just sort of overly improve the kit. We can just go into something like filter uh, and very simply we could give it a bit of a high pass and take off a lot of that over heavy weight on the bottom. So if we did just do like a high pass, 12 dB, that's going to be far too much. So dial it right back. Cool, get rid of some of that noise and just take the drive off. I mean, the drive might sound quite good, but for the minute we'll leave that off. Okay, so now the pitch. The pitch, unfortunately, will always affect the whole set of samples. We can't just do it like per one. We can't select, say, just this, for example. By the way, if you put an extra slice in, just double click, it'll go away again. Instead, it's a little bit better if we take this a step further and put this into a drums library. So what we can do is right click, do create drum machine designer pat track, and boom. It's going to take a minute. It's going to grab all those slices and that's going to pop them in a drum machine designer for us. Beautiful. So let's close away our quick sampler now. Hey, how much cooler is that? So what I'm going to do here is take this little bit of the break that we've already got. I'm just going to make our loop again, just at one bar, but I'm going to roll with that. Now, each sample now, I can actually tweak it up to certain same degree. Now, all the slices are on the same triggers they were before. So for example, that kick still going to be here on that C1 trigger. If I tap on the marker for that one, it's now got its own slice block look and it's narrowed down to just that one sample. Way more useful because I can do a lot more with it. 
While playing, I can solo out just that hit. So while playing, I can use solo and solo out just that hit. Now we're currently on one shot, which makes sense for drums. We can still go over to slice and have all the slicing options like this. If we needed to uh, extend it out or you wanted to have it so the hi-hat was always in there, for example. But in one shot, we can now very quickly give ourselves little fade offs and things like that so we don't get any pops and clicks. Now, if we want to do some very quick editing, so repitching is the main thing you're going to ever want to do with drums, really, is we've got the root key here. It currently says C3, but I could drop it by, like, say, 50 cents. It's pitched it right down. Something else we can do is put flex on real quick over here. Follow tempo on uh, and adjust the speed here. It's going to adjust the playback speed. Give you all kinds of cool effects that way. Without follow tempo. Quickly flip the sample into reverse. What would be really useful is if it included the pitch control, right? Well, if you flip over to Q Sampler Details, you've got the pitch control and the filter control now for each individual sound. So I can course pitch it down. Remember that your ADSRs are going to work as well for all of these. So if we find, say, a snare. Beautiful. So we've got the snare here. Just double click. Make sure we're in the right one. Look, going to cue sampler detail. Firstly, let's pitch up the snare a bit. Let's give it loads of drive. Now for ADSR, we can very simply just use so the one on the furthest right is going to be linked to, say, your amplitude. Um, little menu at the bottom, we can change it here. ADS will be fine for what we're after. So say on the snare just here, if we solo it out, um, let's bring the attack right down. We can make it a really short, snappy snare. Yeah, we can really control that to be wherever we want. We could even lead the attack in a bit if we wanted to. Or just have it play the whole sample. So if you wanted to really sort of narrow down, say, some of the shakers and things like that, so this one here. It's got loads of low end on it, and we just want the shaker. Let's just duplicate that real quickly. So it runs throughout this loop. All right, we don't want all that low end, do we? So yeah, we just want to shake it on the top. Let's maybe even pitch it up. Cool. And there we go. Using the envelope, really, really built into something completely different there. I think that should probably be enough for you guys to get how to chop up your breaks in Logic. Now it's far more efficient than it used to be. Uh, and like this tool is probably the real powerhouse. But slice it up in the quick sampler first and then dump it into here. Otherwise, you have to do it all manually. That just cuts out so much legwork for you. Hope that video has been helpful for you guys. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. If you'd like more tips and tricks like this, I have an entire course on building a track from scratch. You can watch all of the videos in the link below. Or if you would like, you can also purchase the full course to watch all in one go, ad free, and have all of the resources that go with it, including the finished project and the vocals. Thank you for watching, guys. I will see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.